homecoming on a day meant for football at Apogee Stadium. Overcast, cool temperatures in the 60s, and a chance to nail down uncharted territory, the West Division Championship in Conference USA. Mason Fine continues to lead the league in passing. One yard from 1,000 as he starts the day at 999 yards, third best in the conference with 13 touchdowns. This would have been unthinkable, but this is the opportunity that stretches out in front of the Mean Green players here this evening. Neither of my parents played high school sports. My dad didn't play football, basketball, none of that. I remember watching Adrian Peterson on TV. I told my dad, "That's what I want to. I want to go play football." I remember the first time I practiced. You know, I showed up for practice and I had my uh, pant pads on wrong. I think I had them upside down or something, and they were they were all over the place. So yeah, we, we were learning. We were learning. I had a natural act for throwing the football. And my dad saw that, and you know, I wanted to be a quarterback, and I wanted to, you know, be a a good quarterback. From then, it just kind of grew and kind of got better with how much work I put into it. When people tell me I'm just too, I'm too short or too small, I brush it off. I'm just like, all right, well, one day I'll prove you wrong. I never doubted for a moment that I couldn't play Division I football. That, that thought never crossed my mind that I couldn't play at this level. And I always believed my, my purpose was to play a college football. You know, I always had that dream of playing Division I football. I didn't know where my next, my next step was. As that date approached, I feel like, you know, I was going to fail at that dream. That's a big thing when your whole life, those last seven years have been to accomplish something, you know, something you've wanted so bad and it might not happen. And I just really felt <sighs> real sad that, you know, my, this dream might not happen. And my dad just said, keep your head up. You know, you don't, you don't need tons of offers. You know, you, you only go to one school, you only need one offer. It was a real culture shock coming from a small school to a, you know, a big university like this. And I really didn't have a whole lot of high expectations uh, from the coaching staff and even from people around here. They were really like, oh, who's this kid? Really came in here with a chip on my shoulder and uh, just kind of come out here and played my game. I practiced every day like you know, I was a starter. And so when that opportunity came, I felt mentally prepared for it and even physically. You know, second week in the season, you know, they announced me as a starter, just like that. I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for you know how tall I am or the stature because that developed a, a mentality and a persona of a chip on my shoulder of you know waking up every day and proving people wrong. I think if I was you know six foot two, 220 pounds, I don't think I'd be the same same person mentally. I don't because with all those people telling me I couldn't do something, developed some type of um, some type of mentality of waking up every day and proving those people wrong. Game day at Apogee, like a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of people around. We actually stay in a hotel, so they, they bust us up here. Saturday morning, we wake up and we do a, we have a walkthrough. I wake up an hour before we have to get up for chapel. I, most people listen to music. For some reason, I listen to motivational videos. People today complain of lack of time. It's not lack of time that's the problem, it's the lack of direction. It really gets me uh, focused in and locked in, ready to go. As soon as you step off the bus, you just feel that excitement and all that energy from those fans coming here. You can tell as soon as you walk out that locker room onto the football field, you think you're dreaming. You know, all those fans right there, you know, the crowd, the noise, just makes it all worth it. Especially, you know, as a little kid, having that, that, that dream, and you can just hear the, this, the, the speaker over the, the stadium and says, you know. And at quarterback, number six, Mason Fine. And for some reason, I always hear that. I, I, I tune out a lot of stuff during the game, but before the game starts, I always hear that. And, that always puts a smile on my face. To be able to play that many people, you know, I never really thought of it as a kid, but now you know, I'm living out that dream. It just gives me a whole new energy. You, know, you can feel it. It really just kind of sets me, gets me ready mentally to, to play some football. You know, I always know there's eyes on me. There's always people watching me. Being an individual and athlete, especially being the quarterback, I embrace that and uh, I kind of, you know, live my live my day like, hey, there's always eyes on you. Make sure you're representing this school. Make sure you're representing your hometown. You know, being down here at Denton and being being Cherokee is you know, something I really embrace, really enjoy uh, showing people 
you know, my heritage. There's not a whole lot of Native Americans down here, so they didn't know if I was a, you know, Mexican or, you know, they, they, or they just didn't know. So I, you know, I'd probably say, you know, I'm Cherokee, I'm, I'm Native American. I mean, my parents said when I came down here, just be who you are. I'm just being who I am, and I know that's enough, and I was raised right. I just know if I'm just, if I just be me, then that's, that, that'll be enough. I feel like I'm at a pedestal now that I can, I have the opportunity to speak to a lot of people and have a lot of influence on people to, um, to make a change for the better, and that's really, honestly, what I want to do with my life. I always have goals, and I think that's one thing I pride myself on is I always have goals. As a team, we want to, you know, I want to win conference. I want to win our ball game every year. You know, two years ago, this team went 1-11, and 11, and now, you know, we're sitting at the top of our division, 6-3. and three, as We can accomplish a lot of things that haven't been accomplished here. I truly believe you got to have something to chase because you don't have nothing to chase. You're just going to become complacent. Before I leave here, I want to go down as a UNT Hall of Fame, and that's, I, I'm chasing that every day. So when I wake up, I have that to chase. What do I have to do to leave here to be the greatest quarterback of all time here at North Texas? Jeffrey Wilson, Green Green, touchdown! And the celebration begins. The Mean Green are West Division champions for the first time since joining Conference USA. Every time I step foot on the field, I know there's always going to be people saying, why is this kid out here? I go out there and I try to prove people wrong and try to show the world you know, kind of what they missed out on. And I live every day like that, you know, wake up with that that mentality and I go out there and I attack each day and I don't let no one tell me I can't do something because that only fuels the fire and it just pushes me to do greater things.